Aside from the names that he calls you, he's also called you a bad mom. So yeah. tell us about that. I don't just call her a bad mom. Like when I, if I said something like that, I would be like, "You're acting like a bad mom. You're being a but like now." No, I, I tell her like what she needs to work on. Like, well, what are some of the things that? <laughs> Y'all may see that as like, that's wow. Why is he telling his mom what to do? Well, if her kid knows that there's a problem and you confront your parent like, hey, can you be a better parent? Why is that so bad? If I'm living in horrible conditions and I don't say anything, nothing will change. But when I say something, it's a problem about how I said it. No, it's a problem because what's going on? The kid isn't really going to understand or the person isn't going to understand how to really tell it to your parents is no way that you could tell certain stuff to your parents so however you say it is going to sound disrespectful because they're going to take it the same way she'll have me like and she would go with, with her boyfriend i had to like watch my little brother for like the whole day like a couple days and then like i tell her like Paul, I, first no, of all, no, I'm no, 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 you can't complain because all the stuff that I do for you, how dare you say something about the way that I'm raising you? I'm doing everything around this mother. Well, you decided to have me. It's your job to do this stuff. Why are you telling me your job as if you aren't supposed to be doing this? This was your choice. It was your choice to open your legs and push out a damn baby that you had to hold in your stomach for seven to nine months. I was premature. That's why I say seven to nine months because everybody don't come out during that ninth month. I came out pretty early. <laughs> Y'all not gonna argue with each other. We gonna try to face the truth today, okay? She clearly said that we're gonna try to face the truth today. Okay. I don't wanna hear nothing about nothing. <laughs> Now, Devon, finish answering Dr. Yeah. Judy's question. Like, I'll be watching my little brothers, and, like, I'll tell her, like, like, maybe you should, like, start watching them or, like, be in their life more, like, since you wasn't in mind that much, like, you was around, but you wasn't, like, just really Devon, that them. was like, mean. How are we going to face the truth? He didn't even say that mean. You are taking it from a perspective that he can't talk to you this way. Why can't we talk to you that way? How did you just say that we are going to face the truth, but he tell you the truth and it's mean? I can't be tripping, bro. No. How right? do you feel, Renisha, when I, you hear Devon really, say those I things? I feel really bad because I'm already, like, trying to raise him. Like I said, I was young. You know, we grew up together. Um, but then when he says things like this, and I'm like, Devon, like, I'm, I'm always there for you. I do everything to make you you know, push yourself to your to your goals, to the best ability you can be. Like, I've, I've done everything, so why do you call me these names? You are doing everything that you think that you should do, but parents don't ask the kid ever, hey, am I treating you right or raising you right? We just go through life and they do whatever they do for us, you feel me? Because, you know, they have to, but they never ask us. And then when stuff like this happens, it's just the end of the world because somebody decided to speak up. What's so crazy about that? Devon, do you, do you feel that your mom maybe was there throughout your life, but she really wasn't present as a mom? Is that yeah, what you she mean? Was more like, more like a, like a, she was more like my older sister, if anything. I wanted her to be like my mom, but that's basically what my great grand, my great grandmother was doing. But Renisha, know. we know you had Devon at sixteen. So yeah, she wasn't being a mom. She signed up for the mom role, but didn't know how to be a mom. A lot of women are in that position. They decided to keep the baby and they decide to do whatever they do after the baby has been born, but they didn't prepare to be a mom. They just handled things as things came. And that leaves room for a whole lot of trauma because you aren't taking the baby or the kid that you are raising into consideration at all. Well, tell us what that has been life for you and how maybe that's impacted your relationship okay, with Devon. So first of all, I had him at 16. I wasn't of legal age, so I had to stay with my grandparents because my mom didn't raise me. Is that an excuse or, or understanding for why you aren't present as a mom or actually showing up as a mom? Was that supposed to be like the defining thing and then the women are like, oh, so we see why this is happening. No, that was supposed to have been the flame that made you, okay, I didn't have my mom in my life, so when I have a kid, I'll know to do these things. When we are faced with negative situations in life, it would be smart 
to set your kids up with the opposite things as if like if you grew up without money and you have a kid you would want to have money so your kid can know what it feels like to grow up and have money i think that she went through it and then her kid in the same position like she literally lived a life and then set her kid up to live the same life that she lived but not in a good way i had to stay with my grandparents oh, wow. until Basically, I was 18, and the reason why I didn't have him is because my grandparents called CPS on me when I was trying to take him out the house when I, I had just turned 18, and it was like this whole big ordeal because okay. I, they said I was smoking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Not around him or anything like that, but just the but fact. But you were smoking? But you were smoking. Yeah, I, I, I did smoke. Smoking marijuana? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, every day? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kind of a problem. It's kind of a problem that you smoke weed every day. 420 it's kind of a problem she had the baby at a very young age problems are going to happen regardless keep going okay well um so basically they kind of like deboed him for me but i was like always trying to be there so i was there like i said i was at every event i put him did they every get legal custody event. baseball they... basketball okay. football i was there i put him there i took him to practice everything you know what I mean? Do you recognize your mom being there for all your games and the practices? Yeah, I recognize my great grandpa taking me to my football practices. And I remember them paying for my football and baseball too. Uh, people like, don't ever take in the children's opinion or how they view their life because the story that he's projecting on y'all is how he's seen his life. Why would he come all the way up here and tell y'all the life that he didn't live? This doesn't even make sense. He's on TV. Why would he try to lie so much that he is trying to make something up and lie about the situation? That's like trying to tell someone, hey, you know all the stuff she did for you. How do you feel? feel about it it's not about all the stuff she did for me this is the reality of how i was living and they can't understand that they can't understand it and people don't understand it people will never understand your side when you're up against your parents or the people who raised you they won't understand your side i, I don't get it like she helped too but i remember them doing a lot of the stuff too well, can you maybe be a little more empathetic since she's acknowledging that she didn't have a mom in her life, her grandparents may be a tough relationship? Somebody said it's not his job to be empathetic about how she grew up. It's her job to raise him. And beyond that, he needs to be a complete human being. And the award goes to. I try to help her, like, if I try to, like, correct her on something she do wrong, she get defense, like, she'll get, like, Well, Devon, defensive. you can't be correcting your mama. You should be able to. This is the problem. Us feeling like we can't correct our parents. Our parents be wrong. And then they wonder where we get our wrong from. Because nobody corrected them. So if nobody is correcting you in life, you're going to do a whole lot of messed up stuff. But if your kid decides to correct you, you have no authority because you don't pay bills in this house. You can't speak up for your because you can't pay bills so you should just shut up and quiet your little face and stuff your face with food that I provided for you and the clothes I put on your body boy I can't speak up this is supposed to be your love you're not supposed to get offended when your kid is saying that you're doing something wrong you should fix it that's a clear indicator that's an indicator that's literally like a warning sign you are not supposed to see yourself as separate from your kid your kid should be you but at the same time you should understand that your kid has his own thoughts and his own opinions and stuff but getting offended about them trying to correct you this is what we need to fix because you already was in a situation to have him at a younger age which wasn't a good choice but no one called her out on that if no one is calling you out on bs you're not gonna be anything especially when you can't sense that you're doing bs you're just gonna get away with stuff and it's gonna come out it's coming out her kid is speaking up about the BS, but it's a problem though. <laughs> If I don't correct it and she don't see it, then who's going to correct it? It's never going to change, right? It's never going to change. He knows it. He's a man too. Men, we are here to structure. We are here to keep things consistent, flowing, protection. So he's not doing this out of, you're wrong, you're stupid. He's doing this because he loves her and he wants better for their relationship. Like last night, for instance, I was on FaceTime with this girl and she just in the phone like, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, That's yeah, what like, mothers do. <laughs> mothers like, do that. <laughs> I'm asking like why does it matter like like what is it so I get mad because he says why does it matter I'm like because right. I want to know who you're on the phone with at four yes. o'clock in the morning and that's actually oh, very oh, oh, oh. But look, they're going to put their two cents and try to invalidate him so much, bro. I already know it because that's the reality that's been passed.
passed down the generation to generation like she had to say 4 a.m that was her card you feel me that was 4 a.m oh my god 4 a.m <laughs> you it was want, four o'clock in the morning you conveniently you, left that part out wow. it was four in the morning dc time so it was like one in the morning <laughs> This pissed me off because this is the reality. I directly know how it feels to be in that guy's seat. So these kind of videos, I come to them with an understanding of personal experience. I'm not one-sided or biased about everything. I take everything into consideration. This really be the perspective of you growing up with a single mother. Yeah, that's a lot. How old was she? <laughs> See, now I'm talking like a mom. <laughs> Nice that's a great example of good parenting. That Thank you're monitoring you. your son Thank and making you. sure you know what he's up to. And you say, Devon, you want a mother. That's what mothers do. But you said you wanted a mom who cares about you. Yeah, I did say that. Maybe this is another bad example of how she's not being a mother.